shove a flat bar in and just hammer on something. The first step of replacing the window is removing the exterior trim. Sometimes it pops right off, but when the camera's rolling... Not all the trim is equal. You know, some of it pops right off for you. So David breaks out his cat's paw. All the ones you have to ask, really nice. Removing the exterior trim begins to reveal the construction layers below. Behind the casing is 3 quarter inch plywood, which is unusual. The 3 quarter inch plywood planes out with the 1 by 3 wooden strapping used to create a rain screen and also for fastening the siding into. Removing the exterior extension jams reveals the 2 inches of styrofoam blanketing the house. David cuts back the plywood to the edge of the siding. And then he cuts back the styrofoam and saves the pieces so he can put them back in later. One key thing that I do here, because there's foam, and I know I have house wrap on the other side and I want to take care of it, but I gotta cut my foam back. So it's, it's difficult to do. So I just set my blade a little short and then I pop the foam off. Keep the blade about a half inch short of the foam depth, so an inch and a half in this case, and slice around where you need to cut. The foam now will break easily by prying it sideways. Pop that in. Break the like last half inch or so. Doesn't always break nice, but then it's like a puzzle piece when you're putting it back. With the foam cut back and the Tyvek intact, the original window jams exposed. So all this time taking care of our house wrap and I'm just going to cut it apart now. I cared about the house wrap on that connection. I didn't want to cut a line there, but I know I'm going to tie back into it and I have to open my weight pocket. The Tyvek had been taped to the jam and that needs to be cut back so that the jam can be removed. As long as there's an inch or so of Tyvek sticking past the foam, he can tie the new window into the existing Tyvek. So David cuts around the perimeter. After removing the screws holding the replacement window in place, he begins prying it out of the hole. Now the old window frame is visible, as are the layers that need to be reflashed into the window wall interface. Again, there's a weight pocket with some yellow fiberglass stuffed in, the existing Tyvek, which will be integrated into the new window flashing. And you can see the styrofoam and plywood backing behind the siding. Inside, he removes the trim so that he can remove the old window jam. Turns out, some water had been leaking in over the years, but sloping the sill forces excess water to run out and away. And we know that gravity works because there's no water damage to this window opening. With the old jams and sill removed, he cleans up the opening, cutting back the old pan flashing and prying off the old canned foam that sealed the inside perimeter. Now that the old window is out and the opening is cleaned up, it's time to put the new window in the wall after framing the opening to the right size. We'll look at that process in the next installment.